Welcome back. My name is Kwaku Darfour of the Darfour Law Firm, and I practice down here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Today, I'd like to discuss negligent premises and how to prove a premises liability case. Um, premise liability case is essentially when you know you or somebody gets injured on someone else's property. Um, it could be a property owner, it could be a property manager, and you bring a lawsuit um, for the injuries that you suffered on someone else's property, right? Um, essentially, you have to prove um, that they breached a duty of care that they owed to you, and then you suffered damages. So let's just go through it, right? First, to classify yourself or whoever was injured, there has, they have to be fall into you know, one of three categories, right? You're either an invitee, you're either a licensee, or you're a trespasser. Depending on which category you fall into will depend on the duty that the property owner or property manager has for you. So the highest duty, right, is the one that's coming in that's invited, right, as an invitee. That's the highest duty. So they have the most responsibility to make sure that they warn you of known dangers and known conditions on the property. The second level is what's called a licensee, right? And their responsibility is a little bit less because you're coming on the property for your own benefit. Um, and the le level of care they have to show you there is they have to be they have to have a they have a duty to warn you of things that they should know of, right? Or they should find out about. And then the lowest level is the trespasser, um, where you know they only have to warn you if they actually knew of something. And those three will determine where you fall in. After that, once you prove that they had that duty and they breached that duty, then you have to make sure that you can prove that whatever injury that you are claiming or you're alleging is actually caused by that, that, that duty that was breached, right? That if it wasn't for them not breaking that duty, you would be fine or you wouldn't have been injured. And then the last is, you know, you just have to prove your damages. And so those are the elements of premise liability, and that's how you prove your premises liability case. Now, it sounds very easy, but oftentimes it's very tough, especially for the causation fact. Um, a lot of times they will say, well, you know, you know, you have something else cause you to slip and fall. It was your shoe, it was your, you weren't paying attention, you, or, or something else. <laughs>